a lot. Come on. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, kind of shaded out here. <laughs> I'm trying to look through my glasses here. So it's good to see everybody this morning. This is Pastor Randy Scott with the uh, RFA Fellowship Church. We're morning tidbits this morning. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. hope you can see this. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, in the world's going on here, but I'm trying something a little different. And uh, hope, like I said, hope everybody's well. Like I said, we're on vacation and uh, trying to do these things uh, uh, the best that we can, but it seems to be working out all right. Uh, hey, Mark, how you doing? Good to see you. And uh, I'm going to try something just a second, and uh, we'll see how, <laughs> how good it works out. But you know me, I'm crazy enough to kind of try anything. But I want to talk to you this morning about, uh, you know, we we still are people who who trust uh, everything and uh, the, everything that's said that comes down the pike. Social media, news networks and all those kind of things. And, you know, we never really truly investigate, uh, prove, research on our own. And uh, that's a big problem for people. You know, when you just take someone's word for it and you assume they know what they're talking about. And, and you know, with all the, the, the confusion and mixed messages that are going on out there. Not even in society, but uh, in the church, even. Uh, uh, you know, that's why you need to be in your Bible. That's why you need to know the Word of God so you can prove everything and test everything that people are saying, including myself. Uh, I don't want you to take my word for anything, okay? I've not arrived. I'm not that smart. Uh, you know, I just do what I do uh, because it's a calling of God in my life. But, you know, I'm not always uh, uh, not always correct. You know, no one, no one walks on water. Uh, uh, that often. I don't know if anybody did. Remember what happened to Peter when he walked on water? He got distracted and started to sink. Who did he call upon? Jesus. Who lifted him up? Jesus. And uh, that's who our focus needs to be on. And uh, uh, as our, our Lord and Savior, because he's the only one that can lift us up. He's the only one that can give us truth. And guess what? I don't care what's going on today uh, uh, around us. We can go to the word of God and test and prove everything. And if we did that more often, guess what we wouldn't be? Discouraged we wouldn't be distracted. We wouldn't be dealing with fear. We wouldn't be dealing with doubt. Uh, uh, and we wouldn't be dealing with trust. Because, uh, again, sometimes we put our trust in people we don't need to be putting our trust in so much. And then when we get disappointed and discouraged, man, now we don't trust anything or anybody. And uh, that even comes down to God. You know, when a pastor falls uh, uh, for whatever reason, okay, people stream out of the church. They leave the church because he messed up. And, uh, you know, that's not a reason to leave the church because he messed up. You know, that's the reason to step up. And if you would have been proving him in the first place, uh, watching what he was doing and holding him accountable uh, uh, through love and mercy and grace, uh, you might have headed it off in the first place. But see, people put too much trust in something. And when they see something going wrong, they don't want to believe it. OK, because they don't test it. OK, just like iron sharpens iron. It takes every one of us in the body of Christ to sharpen each other up. And uh, anyhow, but I was just uh, uh, just having a wonderful time with my uh, with my brother here, and, and I'm gonna try to let me see here if I can if I can do this, if I can get him in here. Let me see here. There he is. That's one of my big brothers right there. And uh, he asked me, <laughs> here you go. He asked me, he said, uh, "You mind if I sit out here with you?" I'm like, "Absolutely, honored to have my brother sitting out here. He's a veteran, uh, Marine Corps veteran, uh, served this country uh, with distinction, and uh, uh, but uh, always been a great example to me." And uh, uh, and yeah, I trust him. I trust him because I've seen his walk and, and my, my sister-in-law, Sharon, I've seen their walk, their integrity. Uh, does that mean they're perfect? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, we were sitting playing a game last night and uh, <laughs> believe it or not, he, he, he can tease and pick just as much as me. I know you guys saw it. I was the only one around does that, but we're Scots. You know, we stick together. So, <laughs> so uh, but uh, uh, everybody's saying hi, Butch. Uh, he said hello back, everybody. But uh, we've been having just a wonderful uh, time and uh, just wanted to continue to die, try to do tidbits the best that I can. Uh, uh, tomorrow, I just want to let you know, so I'm probably cutting this a little bit short, but tomorrow there's an event going on. Uh, it's going to be on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be involved in it, hopefully, prayerfully. Uh, Chris Manti, Chris Anderson, who's a veteran also, myself, uh, some other people are trying to get some other people to talk about this Afghanistan situation. So I am going to be foregoing tidbits tomorrow. That event's at 10 a.m. So just encouraging everybody to tune into that uh, on Facebook or on uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, you, you'll be able to find it on, uh, uh, you know, 
those places that, that you look at. Uh, Chris will probably share it uh, all over the place. I hope he shares it on Iron Faith YouTube page so you people have those kind of things. So, but anyhow, but uh, back to back to prove them always. You know, just don't settle. You know, you've heard me say this many, many times. Don't settle. Don't take everyone's word for everything. And don't get caught up in the mix, okay? If you don't prove them, if you don't test them, guess what? That's not their fault. It's not their fault. It's our fault, okay? And, uh, you know, I've been in church situations where, you know, I've left, you know, and uh, in my heart, I, I had biblical reasons, and I could show you the biblical reasons, uh, uh, but I never left church, never left church, I never left the fellowship, and that's the thing. People want to blame everybody else and they leave the fellowship and then they wonder, like, why is my life a mess? Why am I not getting support and encouragement? Those people didn't care. Well, you know, when you separate from your uh, from your those folks that love you, because not everybody there made the mistake. One person might have made a mistake and, and you know, you, everybody gets blamed for it. And uh, the, the biggest part of that is, you know, you kind of probably knew something wasn't quite right. But yet, but yet. Uh, you wouldn't stand on the word of God and, and uh, prove them always and, and test things. And we need to do that. We need to get in the word of God. We need to be in the word of God because the word of God tells us to do that. And if you're in the word of God, you know, so let's go to first John chapter four. I'm just going to read a couple of verses here. First John chapter four, one and two. And it says, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you will know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And I'm going to tell you something. A liar out there, you get somebody out there, uh, whatever they're false prophets, politicians, and all those kind of things. You can tell. If you know the word of God, you can tell whether they're using the name of Jesus correctly. If they're using the power of the Holy Spirit correctly. You can tell. Okay. Uh, if you're in the word. If not, they're going to sound good. They're going to look good. And they're going to mess you up. And uh, we don't want that to happen. So prove them always. Test everything. Don't settle for anything at all. Okay? Stand faithful. And tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, you know, check Facebook. Uh, uh, I'm going to tell uh, Christopher to put it on our church page. Uh, uh, share it on our church page. for It's going to be, I think we're going to have some discussion uh, time. That's going to be tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. And then prayerfully, Lord willing, uh, Thursday morning, I'll try to do tidbits again. Uh, uh, and be with you all. So let's pray. And uh, you guys have a blessed and a wonderful day. And I love you all, miss you all. But we are, Karen and I are having an awesome time being fed uh, abundantly. <laughs> Food to fellowship, sweet. Getting to see my nieces and nephews, it's great. Uh, we haven't seen them in a long, long time. And, and uh, so we're just having an awesome time. And thank you guys for giving me this time away. So let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, and praise you and bless you for who you are. And thank you for this opportunity to serve you no matter where we are. Father, we can talk about Jesus, talk about our Lord and Savior, talk about the sacrifice that he made for us, his death, burial, and resurrection. We thank you for those things, that transforming life that many of us have and many of us need. Uh, so, Lord, I just pray you would speak to hearts that one person that doesn't know you is Lord and Savior, that they would come to that place today. Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we bless you. This is a day you have made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, love you. Be blessed. Don't stress. Give God the best. He'll take care of the rest. And prayerfully, I'll see you Thursday morning for more morning tidbits, but also tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for the Afghan uh, Afghanistan uh, discussion. All right. Love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Boom.